want to start with a test. I don't think he comes much better. You're playing against uh, arguably our biggest rivals, and at any level that will always come up. So we have to perform well this evening. And it puts uh, a little bit of an edge, more of an edge, should I say, on the game. And I think uh, our guys have to step up to the plate. Spurs looking to come forward nice and early. The shot drifts wide. That occasion, Jordini did not have to make the save. It's Nabil Bentele, the 18-year-old midfielder, who let fly. Push into midfield, and we'll see players like Josh getting on the ball. John Swift, we haven't seen him yet. You know, he's, uh, for me, a, a great talent. And I think he's the type of guy who can do something. Well, problems here at the back for Chelsea. Maybe an opportunity for Tottenham to open the score. Blazed over a really good position. Really should have been 1 0. Okay. I just think the ball that was played to him was overcooked, and if it was a little bit shorter, he might have gone on the end of it. That's a little bit brighter by Chelsea. Brown will go again here, and he could be in. Can he get the shot away? It's a good stop. Not completely cleared, though, and Chelsea still have an opportunity here. We'll get the turns. Can't find a teammate. Spurs weekly group. It's better, isn't it? Started to move the ball about. From Josh's point of view, whatever he did last season would have helped him in more ways than one. So I, you know, I think it's a good thing if he's not going to get time at Chelsea because one thing he needs to do is playing at uh, top level football that he can. Off his cheek coming for Kiwamia. Those two combined last season and they're looking to do so again. This is Brown inside the area and still going. And it's Kiwami once more, and it's cleared away. As it drilled behind for a corner, just the heart of most of them. I think it's it just a bit of belief, but I think where we have taken control, which I said earlier on, is Jeremy Bogo showing all his skills that he's got. Absolutely brilliant. Still Bogo, really neatly done, and inside the area, off the sheet goes down, and the referee points to the spot. Well, again, we've talked about Jeremy Bogo, so we haven't seen any side. He's tried to get in front of... Uh, Ruben and, and pinched the ball, but he was never going to get there. McEachern for Chelsea from the spot. Sends the keeper the wrong way. And having recovered from that ankle knock earlier, Josh McEachern has given Chelsea the lead here at the wreck. Well, he'd be happy with that, won't he, coming back and scoring from the penalty spot. There was a, a little bit of added pressure, isn't there? But he looks so relaxed here. Actually waits for the goalkeeper to make the move. Knows what he's doing. Slots into the wrong side of the net from the goalkeeper's perspective and Chelsea taking in and leaving themselves exposed and, and defensive unit there were all in the right positions if the ball had come in anyway so corner. short corner as well plan B towards the back post and it's off the bar and Kulthus with a follow-up still not out of play the initial shot was by Falke here is the Spaniard again and still that's neatly done twists and turns and tries to get away from Boga Better from Tottenham. It's unlucky, isn't it? And it all came from the corner, obviously. That uh... and one back immediately by Tottenham. We just see more of the ball at the moment there. Pushing Chelsea back, but the clear cut opportunities aren't coming, thankfully. Let's see what Kane can do. They're just having a little bit of possession, aren't they, at the moment, Spurs? And, and still in the deflected effort. Well, he did well to watch that. I'm sure it took a nick off a boot or a shin. Or a... It's a misplaced pass from Swift, and this is Kulthus looking to take advantage, and Harry Kane might be able to. And eventually, inside the six-yard area, Falke cannot miss. 1-1. One, one. Well, that's always disappointing when you give teams an opportunity. And a lack of uh, thought there by John Swift in midfield. He's trying to keep the ball moving, trying to play. Maybe that wasn't on the pass to Ruben, but... As soon as Spurs get in control of the ball here. A little bit of good fortune here for Harry Kane. A deflected ball coming in. Just fell, fell nice for Falke. And it's a good finish. You know, he's got his boot behind it from close range. No chance for Mitchell at all. Yeah, got to feel for Aki a little bit, though. As you say, the deflection, he took it away from Aki. You felt that he would have cleared that yeah, easily. I don't, I don't think that would come in. I actually think... Got a few cup. Kane, seen plenty of possession of Spurs number 10. That Stewart was yet a carded for that rather rash challenge. Here is McQueen. He rather lost his marker in that incident. That's a good interchange. And how with the cross, and it's Aki that will head, but only to relative safety. And Falke will go again, and this time it's off target, but it's that right hand side. Spurs are dangerous, certainly. And 
to be fair to Tottenham just prior to it as well. Kane looking to get the shot in here, tries the curler, it was good centre forward play, he rolled his man, just didn't have enough bend on the shot. Our midfield was settled and organised. Okay, Josh has gone off, but great replacement, Lewis Baker. Won't give us any problems at all, but there's a chance there. Brown, first time, this time the flag stays down, can Swift finish? It's a good stop, maybe needed more power. It's unlucky, it's the first time we've seen John Swift that far forward, but bang on target. So that will give us confidence again. Swift, who came off the bench to inspire that semi-final success in the next gen against Arsenal. It's flying the cross, which Lewis Baker scored the winner in that 4-3. Success. And Taylor, first time through for Culthurst here, tries to chip Beanie, maybe another opportunity. Spurs have got a second. Well, initially, Culthurst it was that broke through, and it may well have been Falke again that's finished. Well, it's good football, isn't it, from Spurs again? Very, very quick, sharp, good movement from deep. Players running on. Here we see it again where the ball's poked in. We just get sucked out of a hole there. Chaloba gets sucked out, leaves the gap. Mitchell Beanie does well initially, makes a great, great save. Just unfortunate. It's just fallen to the wrong man, and again, on that sweet left foot of his. Put it in the back of the net. Stopped initially from Beanie. He could do nothing about the second. There was plenty of players to beat. On the bottom corner, decent enough save. Came okay, moving forwards here. He's got Kulthu with him. Doesn't need him. Terrific finish. And Spurs have got another. Well, Mitchell Beanie looks up as if to say, well, where's my covering players? Okay, not the quickest, but there's a big gap there for him to run onto. And to be fair to him, he's a decent player. That's a good strike on him. He went into the bottom of the bottom corner, corner but it was Isaiah Brown who gave away a sloppy pass. He's done the rest. <laughs> He was given more of a go at Leicester than he was at Norwich. But they were giving it earlier on. Maybe we were a little bit sloppy. Maybe of course now that Spurs have got three, confidence has gone a bit low. Kiwami. Brown looked to use his pace. McQueen shoulder to shoulder here, or at least it's a foot race. They didn't clash, and Brown has done well and still coming forward here. Well, it's into the, to the side netting. I'm presuming he was going for goal. Absolutely. Uh, obviously, because it doesn't go in, Dan, you turn around and... Well, that is all the referee can give. And he said that, if Jeremy puts this one in, we won't complain. Look at Baker, both standing over this one. And Boga, I think. It's over the wall, and it's spectacularly punched away by Archer. Well, Dan, if anyone's been to Aldershot, you know there's a bit of a slope. Left to right, this is downhill, very difficult to get the ball up, over and under that crossbar. That's a great free kick, maybe a bit close to the goalkeeper, but a good effort. Half time whistle. Chelsea trying to fight their way back into this fixture. Womya, Baker. They keep deciding to step up from the back. Touch from Kiwomya, Carroll wins it back. Cleared away again, this time by Dominic Ball. Kane is after this one. As is called first, this is Falke, now it's with Kane, once more. Scored one so far as Harry Kane. And they're queuing up, and this is Carroll with the left foot, and again, it just took a deflection, took a bit of the pace off it with the tool. I thought Isaiah Brown did well here as well, he's got almost back, there he is, the number nine. Gets back to help out, and used his pace well, and gave the Spurs the chance to, to put the ball into a wide area, which then gave Christensen the chance to make the challenge. Can't go away with this one. Yeah, Falke unable to take advantage as White's header wasn't the best. It's good pressure from Spurs, Ferruz. Eventually it's gonna go a little longer, but wasn't long enough. And inside the area came might get another. He struck the post and it's forced home by Cole first, and Spurs have a four. Well, we go back to the situation, just put your boot through the ball. Just looking at Islam Ferruz's setup for Kevin Wright in the left back position. We're under a bit of pressure, Dan, as you were saying here. The ball there really doesn't give Kevin an opportunity to come onto it and launch it over the halfway line. Maybe think he could have done a little bit better, Kevin, but it's the, it's the ball back to him that gave him the problem. And in the end, oh, it's a simple tapping for Paul Thurston. It's disappointing for Chris because he really has marshalled him well tonight. But it's all about 
Christian Baker. Neat turn, good footwork here from Baker. Can't get the shot away, plays it through for Perus. It's a great finish, however. Well, again, he's up. yeah, just offside. Disappointed, but again, Islam showing how good he can be when he's in the right position. Lewis Baker showing good fit, footwork as well. To create the opportunity. Yeah, just goes maybe a half a yard too early, but nonetheless, tidy, tidy finish. Pointed to see McKechnie go off. Hopefully, no more than a precaution. I think it was a, an ankle injury. Bounces over. Boger and Spurs have it again. Falke scored twice. Carroll orchestrated things in midfield for Tottenham. A couple of players around him. Makes it look easy. Finds the space in the pass. And now it's with Ben Taylor. It's always been full of running and still Ben Taylor. And still he's going here. It's on his left side. It's a really good strong run. The shot. Always rising. Completed early May for the playoff games. Top four, first versus fourth, second, third, and then the final. And we hope that Chelsea will be involved, but they will have to start winning. And certainly, if they suffer as they have done here, they will not be involved in those playoffs. Still, there's a long way to go. It's another good shot from Kane and Beanie. Scrambling to his left hand side at the second attempt, he got there. I'm sure, he was going to creep in anyway. Well, it's a free header, and it should have been. Over that, just to see the three pass and well, make a knacky one to add his weight. forward and this is Brown and can he finish through the legs of Archer and Chelsea do get a second the gap is reduced to two and that was neatly done Naki breaking forward finding Isaiah Brown and a thumping finish well, as we saw Christensen going forward a few moments ago you know, adding their weight just trying to make something happen you gamble when you do this but at this stage of the game it doesn't really matter Isaiah Brown using his pace Certainly skill at finishing, just holds his run there, which is good thinking. And that's a tidy finish. People will say, well, through the goalkeeper's legs, you're a little bit he fouled there when he got between players. Maybe if the referee hadn't given the last one, he might have given that one. Hey. Which way is this going to go? And uh, Brown is not happy at all. More oh, pushing and shoving. Well, it is Chelsea Tottenham after all. So it's going to be another yellow card. I'll tell you what was interesting there. Though. Oh. And it's uh, Ben Taylor that's been uh, yellow carded. It's his second, of course, so therefore a red. Yeah, the thing is, the referee checked his number before he gave a card. And I just wonder if he thought about it. I mean, arguably, many would say that's a straight red in the first place. But I don't think he can argue. I don't think he can. Two feet. One of them definitely too high. Dangerous play. Certainly a second yellow. So the referee's probably, probably made the right decision here. 21 lead. Falke, of course, 23. You can drop overage players in. So there's certainly more experience in the Spurs uh, ranks for this particular fixture. Quinn is one of the youngsters, though, and he's free here. And that's a good stop from Beanie. He's had a busy night, one way or another. Well, again, wide open at the back. We've lost our concentration now. And, uh, as I speak, that's, that's typical. 